guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Well, today I wanted to show you something I discovered. Some of you may know about this already, but it's a really cool way to find objectionable sounds in your mix um, using Studio One's Pro EQ, which is a pretty damn good um, standard plugin um, EQ. So let me give you an example here. I've got this song I'm working on. This is a song that's a that we're working on that my son wrote and basically it's got a very high pitched tone that I don't like in the vocal and I'll just play it for you real quick here and you'll see if you can pick it up so listen to that word finally let me loop that so you can really hear that's like the second syllable you hear that high harmonic it, when you listen to it on headphones or anything uh, or even the speakers it just really pierces through it doesn't sound good at all let me just solo it so you can really pick it up here okay so I want to get rid of that sound now there's a couple of places in the song um, where he hits that frequency and the same thing happens uh, on uh, about four or five different spots. So what I found is if I, if I use Pro EQ, which is what I usually use to do subtractive EQing, and I turn on Waterfall, okay? If you ever use Waterfall, it's pretty cool, okay? Um, if you look at, you'll see when I start to play this, okay? you'll see the, um, the image and you'll look for brighter spots in the image that the brighter the spot, the higher the, the dB on the particular frequency is basically how it works. Okay, so it allows you to identify uh, frequencies that are peaking out and um, it's just a good way to, to, to discover problem areas. So here, so here it is, let me, let me just take you through this, I'll play this again, just watch the scope as it um, as it plays through this loop here. Okay, so you see this? Can't freeze it. I guess I could freeze it. Let me just let me try that again. You see this little spot right here? That is the, that's definitely the frequency that's causing the problem. So. What I'm going to do is here is I'm going to move this over to about that frequency. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that frequency out. I'll listen to it go away. It's gone. It's a real cool way to find problems. And you can see it disappeared from the flow as well. So now I'll play it again. We'll play with all the music and you'll hear the difference here. It's a much smoother tone. Let me just take this out. There it is. There it is. That tone that I don't like. So you can use this Pro EQ and the waterfall spectrum um, um, display to basically easily target offensive um, frequencies. It's pretty cool. So. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, I think it's great. I'm going to be using this from now on. Um, I hope this was helpful. If it is, please uh, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.